Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Penny's Big Breakaway. World's Edge, baby, let's keep going through this exceptionally weirdly trippy environment that, I'll be honest with you, I, I'm i not entirely convinced isn't just... Wait a minute, did I do this world already? I don't think I did. Hold on. The following day. No, I didn't do it. I don't know why. That's so weird. I don't know why I just got like a deep, like in the pit of my being, like memory of like, is this, have I played this before? I don't know why that happened, but I have not played it. So that was weird. Anyway, back to it. Sorry about the, the weirdness of that for a second. Um, maybe it's just because I've, you know, the new world or environment, got the new, like, rock-looking things and everything. Maybe that just wigged me out and made me think that I'd played it, when in reality I had not. Woo! Can I get up there, though? Come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, well, that's not great. All right. Well, that wasn't great, but whatever. This game is really fun, and I'm enjoying just the high-flying nature of the mechanics and controls and everything, but my god, are there moments where I'm like... feel as though I, I could not be... have less control. I mean, I... I know it's the, like, Sonic Mania devs, and I know that they wanted to to make a 3D Sonic game, and I guess if they made a 3D game with fun movement controls that also feels virtually impossible, they made a 3D Sonic game, I suppose. I'm trying to make an SOS, just gotta light these candles. Huh? Oh, I need the torch. There we go, baby. Oh, take me higher and higher. Now this is the sort of movement that I'm enjoying. <laughs> what do I do? Maybe I'll try to blast myself back home. You won't need to do that, my guy, because I got this. Ready to blast off, use torchlight can of fuse. Quickly jump into the cannon barrel and prepare for launch. I like that they sped up the fuse time. They were like, all right, they're in the barrel. We should make this happen now. Oh, there seems to be a citizen in dismay. Allow me to help you, said citizen. Can you hold all my books open for me? Then I can read three times as fast. Uh, come on, game. There we go. There we go, and... Boom! Perfect! I just need three eyes. One for each book. Well, you're almost there, my good sir. You're almost to having three eyes, so... Have no fear on that front. Okay, thank God that it grappled on the edge. I don't know why it grappled on that edge and not some of the other ones, but that's fine. Give me that. Come on, yank it! There we go. Can I run over here? I can. There's nothing over here, but it's not about if anything's over there. It's about confirmation on can I do the thing, and I can, in fact, do the thing, so that's all the confirmation I need. And I don't know if anybody said this, but for all oh, upside down trees, but for anybody out there who might be like, oh, you're, he's taking such a long time. He's going so slow. Um, I'm enjoying the game. I don't have to blaze through it to enjoy it. My buddy got stuck. Can you hand him this rope? Why, certainly, my good sir. I absolutely will hand him this rope. Hey, sir, I heard you need a rope. Thanks for the rope. Um, what am I supposed to tie this to? Boom. I don't know why there's some moments where I'm like full of oh 
I definitely should have made that. Am I? Okay. Boy, that took a while for the dropout to occur, huh? Speaking of dropout, my favorite streaming platform, Dropout. New episodes of Dimension 20 every Wednesday. When they are making new episodes, sometimes they're not. Because everybody needs an off-season. They just announced they're doing some new stand-up specials and, like, comedy improv specials soon, and I could not be more excited for that. Because um, I love so many of those comedians and people on Dropout, and my god, do I want to see some of their actual stand-up-esque stuff. You've got truly no idea how much I enjoy Dropout and the Dropout suite of entertainment properties. Methinks that I need to have a serious conversation with myself before this entire uh, episode bit just becomes... Oh, oh, there we go. Or this entire episode bit just becomes me uh, talking about how much I love Dropout. That, that's what you should expect from, from me coming forward is it's either Game Grumps quotes or me endlessly talking about how much I like Dropout and the Dropout suite of programs. Oh, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's not great. Am I gonna die from, like, combat for the first time in this game? I don't think that's happened thus far. Oh, I see. I see what I got to do. Give me that. Thank you kindly. I think I missed the last human dude. I think I saw him the last time. Boom. Scene clear. Top level. I think I saw him at the last cannon. And I just didn't realize that was the alternate way to go. Um, I thought that the, that was the correct way to go and the cannon was the alternate way to go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Lock it, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. God. It's... Now that I... Now that Dropout's on the brain, all I can think about is how badly, like... Scraping by, excuse me, um, but how badly, it, like, it would be the dream to be on something like Game... Or, I mean, Game Changer, obviously, but there's no way. But, um, um, actually would be even... Arguably... Wow, a person! Um, um, actually would be arguably slightly cooler just because of the general nerdiness of it. Not to say I would ever pass up an opportunity if somehow, for some reason, I got an opportunity to be on something like Game Changer. But, like, um, hello? But just, um, actually seems to fit my general, like, the nerdiness type stuff that I'm currently actively doing and experiencing with stuff like the YouTube channel. That just, it just tracks way more. Um, versus, I'm not an improv comedian. I do not have... I have some theater experience, but I do not have, like, improv experience to the degree that all of the people who are on uh, Game Changer do, so therefore, why would you put me on Game Changer? There is no reason you would put me on Game Changer, is the correct answer to that. Woohoo! Woohoo! What do you need, good sir? You return my friend's pen, keep it safe. Don't let it get scratched. Uh, she doesn't know I borrowed it. Gotcha, good sir. Oh, so I don't even necessarily have to... I don't even necessarily have to, like, hit the books. I just have to touch the books. Or I guess I have to hit the books. Gotta hit the books, everybody. Or I guess I gotta hit the top of them. It's a better descriptor of that. Oh, are you kidding me? The goddamn depth perception. You're kidding me. Hey, at least I don't have to do that again. I can just go. Well, that sucks shit. What would be my dream, um, actually, episode or, like, subject for myself? I want to say something like... Couldn't be a whole episode based around Steven Universe. Um, 
got to be some kind of Evil Dead stuff in there. But it doesn't have to be the entire episode. Um, I guess, like, retro games and... Give it to me, give it to me! Oh, it, the... Oh, well, that's good that it restarts. Where does this take me, though? Oh, it takes me back there. Can I jump in here now and it will... Uh, oh. Well, that certainly... That certainly is going to put me at a disadvantage for getting back there now. As will that. Okay. Come on now. We got this. We got this. I refuse to fail this hard this many number of times in one specific area. And you know, you know that on the other side of, the, uh, of that cannon is like uh, a checkpoint. You know. Come on. Kaboing, and then... Yep, and then I already got the, the token up there, which was the whole reason that I failed it to begin with. At the nick of time, I should not have risked getting those coins. I really shouldn't have. But I just, I cannot risk, I cannot resist a good coin. What can I say? Nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to do, mega on Wii. I feel that, man. Boy, do I feel that. Mega on Wii, that's my, that's my new favorite mega evolution coming in the next Pokemon game, is Mega on Wii. Mega on Wii! Okay. That one, I guess, is my fault. I can't even really tell at this point. There's so many weird, like, depth perception things. I can't even tell what's actually my fault and what's less my fault. But I guess it's all my fault because I'm the one controlling it. Out of my way, you top, you spinning wheel throwing little dude, little puppeteer man. God, what would a what would a final boss for this area even be? I'm I imagine there is one. We've only we've yet experienced just one world without a final boss, so I I tend to imagine there will be one for this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's that's how you do it. What do you suppose this is, Tiny Flying Saucer? I don't know. You certainly don't know, so why would you think I would? Weirdo. Kind of rude, honestly. Did you think that you would impart... You, you would think that, ju oh, just because I'm weird, I would know about the weird thing? How rude. How rude indeed. Shoot me, baby. All right, what do you need help with? My diary pages are missing. Can you find them for me? Absolutely, I will try my damnedest. Whoops. Now, where was the last... Okay. I was going to say, couldn't remember where the last checkpoint was, which will put a damper on things for certain. Certainly. God, I used to love doing that as a kid. I used to love doing the, like... That's curly, I believe from uh, Three Stooges is that certainly nyak, nyak, nyak. I mean, there's a lot of different, like, characters and such that have used voices like that over the years, but I think that one in particular that I'm referencing is meant to be him. Um, I could be wrong. It could be one of the other ones, but who knows. Well, I didn't realize this was on a timer. Although, I hope that would read my diary. Sorry, dude. Did not realize that one was on a timer. Otherwise, I would have gone just a smidgen faster. Okay. And then, hup. And then, come on, please. God damn it. Wow. Barely even made it to the second level, too. Good to know that I figured out that it's always the left stick and not the right stick. Because why would it ever be the right stick in hindsight? 
That's uh, that would be an insane thing for that to be. Stage clear. Got all the little token things, and only helped out one dude. They maybe I'm just terrible at the combos, because otherwise they they've got to be some pretty insane uh, bonuses for really getting everything to actually hit those level scores. My alarm clocks are all about to go off. Grab them quick. Copy that, my guy. Grab them as fast as I can. Boom. Told you as fast as I could. Told you I would help you out. And you didn't believe me, did you? Uh, hello? I was gonna say, game, it's right there. Oh, where's the little... Oh, it's over here. No, oh, well, I'll go back and... Oh. Okay, didn't know that was happening. I guess I'll go back and do that again. I don't even need that block, to be honest. I can get up there without it. Kaboom. I, th this game is so interestingly designed in the sense that I truly cannot tell what are little optional things um, that I don't need to worry about and what are things that I absolutely need to worry about. Kind of seems like the point, but at the same time, I saw a ship sailing through the stars, or I thought I did. It just sort of seems to be like the MO for a lot of these 3D platformers is presenting you with enough paths and collectibles that you don't know which is the quote-unquote correct way to go or not. My house keys got stuck out of those bricks. I need the back. Gotcha, my guy. I will make it happen as much as I possibly can. There's another pair. How many house keys do you have, my dude? And how are you getting home at night? If they're all just getting blown to smithereens. Or if you're forgetting them everywhere. How indestructible are these keys as well? My house key's great. Can you find my house too? I would like some help with that as well. In case you haven't noticed, we're all kind of just trapped here. All right. Those little books remind me of my absolute favorite 3D platformer, Ukulele. Can you detect the sarcasm in that? Because I don't like ukulele very much. Which does kind of upset me that I don't. I, given my love of 3D platformers and the dearth of 3D platformers we encounter these days, I wish that I did like it. It is something that I truly, dearly, dearly wish that I did enjoy, but I just, I just don't. I've tried the game multiple times on different platforms and in different circumstances, and yet every single time I just I just don't enjoy it. Come on. Get me there. You can get me there. Come on, game. Get me there. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to get there right now, then. I'm going to get this thing. Wow, almost could have made it. Almost could have. Didn't fully, like, uh, committed myself to not making it. But I almost could have. Almost. Come on, baby. This is more like it. This is more like it. Taking me away. Sailing me away. Okay. It's fine, because it'll speed up right about now. Oh, it really sped up, too. That was really funny. What's up with puppets? Like, who's controlling them, you know? Or what's up with the puppets? Better descriptor. Because if you just say, what's up with puppets, then we kind of know who's controlling them, the puppeteer. But if you're specifically referring to these puppets, that I understand. See, now, why did that one bounce me up? But other times that's happened, and it hasn't. I don't know. I do not 
No. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yes! Brought me up to the edge. Keep bring my friend this gift box. Don't let it get crushed! I will do my absolute damnedest, my good sir. Okay. Well, that didn't feel fair. Oh, and he was right there, too. I could have made it. Well, you know what that means. Yep. We were presented with a challenge that was literally right there. You think I'm just not going to do it? Now, I have to also nail that baseball jump, which I'm pretty sure I can do. I'm pretty confident in my own abilities. Also, not fall off here. I didn't draw any attention to it before. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Lock up, baby. There we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me! Jesus, game. Do you want me to succeed or not? Come on, there we go, there we go. There's your gift box. A bo gift box shaped gift for me. It's empty, wee. Oh, that's, I don't know how good of a friend that is actu in actuality then. Looks like Fall Guys, you gotta pick the right way to go. Isn't that cute? Nice try, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, nice try, you can't. It takes a little bit more. You gotta get up a little bit earlier in the morning to get one over on me like that. Boom, diggity. I did not get everything, did I? We shall see. Oh my god. I had to press the same button twice, and for some reason my brain went, X triangle. What is wrong with me? I'm an idiot. All right. What's coming next? Another cutscene or a boss or... Oh, space pirates. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, pretty girl. Pretty girl. We don't get many new bodies here in the cosmic wa wastes. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, is it evil? Oh. This one's a little lacking in the height department. One of my favorite voices to do is that voice for a robot or something. Oh no. Let's take it for ETS drive. So I gotta fight myself? Oh, it's like, oh, it's a race. Let's go, buddy. You think you're gonna get one over on me? Nice try. You can't get nothing over on me. I'm the king. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting so many more uh, uh, bonuses than you. Oh, but I got still gotta make that. Oh, that's not fair! He doesn't have to blow the thing up. That's not fair at all. Oh, I gotta catch up with him now. Oh, he's easy. Never mind. Why was I worried? He seems to be a bit of a pushover now that I look at it. Oh, not that way! Not that way! Oh, that's not fair at all. Come on, speed up, speed up. You got this, you got this. Okay, really? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um, I'm sorry, did he just teleport over there? That's not allowed. I can't teleport over there. Why do you think you can? Oh, and he's got more coins than me now. Oh, I just knocked a bunch of coins out of him. No! 
This has turned into the most stressful part of the game thus far. I cannot believe this. Give me more health, please. Okay, get off the thing then, Penny. I'm, like, trying to tilt my head around to, to like, get an idea of, like, where everything is located. And it's not working. It's like he's, it's like he's glitching. It's like he's zipping around and glitching like there's a poor Wi-Fi signal. There we go, that's more like it. Come on, just stay on it. Just stay on it, we're right there, we're almost there. Oh, oh, what?! I glitched! I actually, for realsies, glitched out of that! But I still won. Fuck off. Woo, woo! Yeah, back off, buddy. What's your deal? You have performed my puppet? Impressive. And a fellow wielder of the cosmic string. Why, the stars must be smiling upon us. What a curious companion you've created. I didn't think there'd be another line. I was trying to take a drink. Not just anyone can master these threads. Even magical Mr. Q never managed it. Yeah, I beat his ass. I am known as the Taboo Artist. Come, I'll give you a front row seat to my celestial show. You're just in time for the 17th act. Five-dimensional opera, a quantum ballet. It's my masterpiece, perhaps no audience can say. So what brings you to my wasteland? Has our almighty emperor finally unbent and sent you to offer the apology I deserve? Oh, that's right! That's right. Um, you're you were sent away. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. He sent me for an apology. Oh, never mind then. Wait. So that's how it is. I should have known. Eddie never changes. That was always his problem. But it became mine in the end. It, her voice has definitely shifted since I first started doing it. Before his solo act as emperor, we used to perform together. You know. Our notorious, legendary, anarchic, immortal, wonderful double act show. Oh my lord. Skinny legend, boy slim thick got me quaking. Every show. <laughs> That's not her voice. I threw myself off with that comment. Every show, Eddie played the lead. And I... Were second banana. Oh no, you literally were puppeteering. I directed everything else. You, are you, were you happy about that? You seem happy about that. The world's strongest man, starring in the world's strangest theater. Never the same show twice. Yeah, she actually does seem happy about that. I would, I would have predicted that the story would have gone in one of those directions of like, I never got the thanks I deserved or something like that. We packed the rafters, we traveled the continents. But he got tired of my tireless experiments. And so I walked away. Serving. And I got tired of him being tired. I mean, in that case, I don't know necessarily if he owes you an apology. I traded stage life for starlight, but the silences stretch. Visitors like you are a rare treat. Little artist, I will grant you a favor. Anything within my power, which is considerable. You could even stay here with me. Empty sands, isolation free. And empty sands and isolation free you to focus on your craft. I could teach you to swing from the stars. From one enemy of Eddie to another. What do you say? Ah, that, you like that idea? All right, sure. I get it, you need to go home, but Eddie's land isn't home for you anymore. Oh yeah, need to take out the judge. You know, court systems and such. Oh, you're in the Book of Law. Well, in that case, why not rewrite history? The Book of Law is absolute as is written, so it must be. Do you understand, little artist? With the right rip of a page, you can reshape your fate. 
You're going to teleport me back so I can reshape my fate? The twin to the teleporter is hidden inside the Lawberry Courthouse. Sneak inside and get that book of law. That old fuddy-duddy Judge Rufus won't have the faintest clue. What fun! Little artist, I expect to see your name in lights over the gala stage someday. A sparkling future lies before you. Now go and seize it. Copy that, I will do my damnedest, of course. Or we're going back to Pangoville. Or have we been to Pangoville? We haven't, all right. Is this the Lawberry Courthouse, though? I thought we're going to Pangoville. I thought you said I was teleported to the... Oh, somebody borrowed the book from the courthouse while on vacay. That's not great. Oops. Good luck, little artist. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, nice help. That, that really... Th thanks, I guess. Pangoville, flip and slide. Oh, whole ice-themed area now? I mean, flip and slide. Oh my god, and everybody has on, like, little sun gog... Or, like, like snow goggles and, and winter jackets. Oh, it's gonna be adorable and delightful. Alrighty, and it will very much be in the next episode so thank you everybody for watching like the video if you like the video share the video if you'd like to share the video subscribe if you'd like to as well that would really help me out i have been jacob and you have been wonderful we, we are finally back on earth question mark or whatever penny's planet is actually called um not exactly where we want to be you know given that we're being chased by penguins and we're currently in penguin village but you know what we'll we'll, de we'll, we'll deal with that shouldn't be too much of an issue and this has been Penny's Big Breakaway. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.